welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am sharing with you a baby moon haul. I am so excited. My husband and I are leaving on Monday to head to Cabo, and I'm gonna share with you a room tour once we're there. I'm gonna vlog a little bit while we're on the resort, but I'm so excited to be able to finally travel again. We are going with our best friends, and it's gonna be such a fun trip. So I'm gonna share with you everything that I picked up for the trip and then some things maybe you've already seen if you follow my channel. I'm gonna kind of share with you, you know, what I'm also taking. So I haven't fully reined in in my brain exactly what I'm taking. There may be other things I end up taking that I don't have laid out here or that I don't show you, but we will see. For the most part, this is most of the stuff. There are quite a few things. So before we hop into this video, if you are new to my channel, I would love it if you would stick around and hit that red subscribe button. I post motherhood and lifestyle content every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Lots of day in the life vlogs, and if you don't know, I am pregnant. I'm 20 weeks pregnant with our third baby, so I'm excited to be sharing that journey with you guys as well. So if those are things that you're interested in, I would love to have you here. All right, so I'm not a fan of long intros, so let's just hop right into this video. All right, the first thing I wanna share with you is some sunscreen I picked up. The first thing I got, I've actually never tried this one before, but it is by the brand Tula. I have wanted to try this sunscreen for a while now. I have heard lots of good things about this sunscreen, so I'm really excited to try it. So it is the Protect and Glow Daily Sunscreen. It's SPF 30, and it's very glowy. I've seen people when they swatch it. So I'm really excited to try this. I actually do have the Super Goop um, glowy sunscreen, so I probably will take both and then kind of compare them and see which one I like better, but I'm really excited to try this out. Sunscreen obviously is so important on your face. I love having a tan face, but not more than I love wrinkles. So I guess I am just like finally, the older I get, biting the bullet and really getting serious about putting sunscreen on my face. The next thing I got are from Sunbum. I got a cool down lotion. I love having an after sun lotion. It helps to extend your tan. And the Sunbum brand is really good. It's a little pricier, like when you're at Target and you're looking at Sunbum compared to like Hawaiian Tropics or some of those normal brands you see. This is is probably double the price I would say but it's really high quality products so like I'm pretty sure all of their sunscreen just doesn't have all the bad stuff in it like what the normal brands do which is why it's a little bit more expensive but I got this after sun lotion it's great in case you get burned but mostly I like it just because they always smell really nice and like I said it helps to uh, really set in your tan and help it extend a little bit longer I also got the sun bum coconut lip balm so I'll throw this in my beach bag it's very important to have some kind of good uh, SPF lip balm so that your lips don't get burned. It's like so painful if your lips get burned. So this is SPF 30. And as far as the sun bum stuff goes, um, I've actually personally never used it. So I'm ex excited to try these. But my husband is a redhead and he has to apply lots of sunscreen all the time, whereas I don't. And so because of that, he is very particular about using high quality sunscreen. I think there was some study with like redheads or something where people that have to wear lots of sunscreen all the time, if they're wearing all this, all the kinds that have like lots of chemicals and stuff like that, obviously that seeps into your skin and at long term it can be really bad for you. So it's really important to just pay the extra money and buy a higher quality sunscreen. So my husband always uses this brand and he uses like SPF 70 or 50 or something, but he's got those sprays in there that he will be taking on the trip. But I didn't include it because this is my haul and I won't be wearing SPF 70, that's for sure. I still have to decide which um, SPF I'm gonna use in terms of my body, like tanning lotion and sunscreen and stuff like that. Um, for Usually I get burned on my shoulders and my chest, so I try to put a little bit of sunscreen there. And then on my body, I'll do some type of tanning, oil or lotion, but when you're in Mexico, did I say we're going to Mexico? Yeah, I think I did. But when you're at the beach, obviously the sun is way more intense. So I will be wearing some type of SPF on my whole body. I'm just not sure which numbers I'm gonna be using yet. All right, along the lines of beach bag, I picked up this beach bag from Target. Look how cute it is. I love this like straw beach bag with the pink checkers. I think it's so cute. It was $25 and honestly, I might just use this as my carry-on on the airplane and just put my stuff in there and then I'll take a clutch to dinner each night. And so this will probably just be like my carry-on bag so I don't have to pack this in my actual suitcase. But I thought this was so cute and that'll be plenty big to hold all of my, all of our stuff. 
whatever we need out by the pool. Sorry about the airplanes. <laughs> the next thing I picked up are these like towel scrunchies. I thought these looked really cool. It says for your sweaty, salty, wet hair. It is by the brand Kitsch and I really like this brand. They have really great products that are super cute. It came with a set of two scrunchies and they're really big. See? And I thought this, apparently, I think it like helps to, let's see, benefits. Highly absorbent microfiber material helps reduce heat drying time. Okay. Oversized design absorbs even more moisture, soft, blah, blah, blah. Helps tame frizz, breakage. Perfect for wet hair on the go. Beach, swimming pool. I don't know. Anyway, I thought they were cool and I thought they were so cute. So we'll try them out. I'll see how they are. I thought this would be cute to put my hair on my head while we're by the beach or the pool or whatever. So I got those. And just so you know, I will link as many of the products in the description box below as I can. I'm pretty sure everything should still be available. So I will, I will link as much as I can. Next up along the lines of hair accessories, I got a couple of hair scarves. This one is a little bit smaller. I loved the colors and the checkered print this is from target so it's very inexpensive but it looks super cute like if you had your hair half up half down or like in a ponytail or whatever i thought this was so cute i've worn this a couple times and i really like it then i got this one from amazon so it's a little bit bigger but i thought the print was really pretty it's all it's silkier and it's just feels a little dressier so i thought this would be really cute I have like a peachy dress and like an ivory dress. So I thought this could even be cute in my hair, maybe one night for dinner with one of my dresses. I don't know. We'll see. I don't, I don't really fully have planned out what I'm doing with what, but it's fun to have options. Next up, I've shared these before. I wear them like crazy. I'm going to take these two Amazon claw clips. I love these colors. It does come in a pack of four. So the other one is black and then there's a green one, but I think I'm just going to take these two colors. These will kind of go with most of everything I'm taking. And I just love these so much. So again, by the pool or whatever, if I just need to clip my hair up really quick, I love these so much. Next, I feel like such an adult sharing this, but I got a sun hat, which is crazy because I've never in my life worn a sun hat on the beach, by the beach, by the pool. Like I don't do it. Cause like I said, I want my face tan, all that, but I know it's really important to not only protect your hair from the sun, but also your face, your skin. So I got this really cute sun hat. I got it in a size small cause there are definitely different sizes, even though it's adjustable and it's cute. I mean, it's different for me but I think I really like it and I think it'll be really, really cute by the pool. So this was from Nordstrom and I really like it. Let me know in the comments. Are you a fan of sun hats or is it like a no go for you? I don't know. It's, I think it's cute. I'm just like kind of getting used to it. You know, <laughs> the next thing I got, that was so cute. This is from Amazon. So they're these like little, I still have the tag on it, but they're like these little puka shell. See the puka shells? Hopefully it's focusing so you can see. There we go. And it's for your sunglasses. So you attach it right there to your sunglasses and then it hangs down, you know, or I'm confused. Not like that. It's just, it's attached. It's a circle. So this would come up and then they would like hang down if that makes sense. So I just thought it was like, kind of like when in Rome at the beach, why not? It looked cute. I'm really into like going to Mexico. I'm like super into all the bright colors and just like whatever. So I got this pack of bracelets from Amazon. I thought these were really fun. I thought these would be so cute, like by the pool and a swimsuit, you know, I don't know. I really like those. I also got this pack, which I thought was cute with the gold on them. You see, I'm dropping them with the gold. They are a little big. These are a little bit bigger than these, but I love all the bright colors. I just thought these were super fun. So anyway, yeah, just some random bracelets. I also got some earrings, which honestly I'm kind of on the fence about, but I'll show you anyway. I have a long, you'll see it in a second, ivory maxi dress. And I saw these earrings and I thought they were really cool and just like kind of beachy and fun. 
actually a blogger posted about these, um, Shaylee Mills, she's super cute. And she was on a beach trip. I'm trying to get it to focus on the earrings. She was on a beach trip and she wore these, I think with like an ivory dress. But anyways, this dress is so simple that I thought this would be kind of cute to like spruce it up and just make it kind of like, kind of fun. These earrings are from Amazon, by the way. Well, moving on to swimsuits. I feel like I'm trucking through this really fast, which is good. I hate like 50 minute sit down videos, you know, and they take forever and you just don't get to the point. So I'm trying to share this stuff as quickly as possible. So hopefully you're tracking with me. All right, first up are some Target swimsuits I got. I picked this one up. I thought it was so cute. So like I said, I am 20 weeks pregnant. So the swimsuits at Target are like, or at least I, most of them, I feel like it depends on what brand you get, but they're like juniors, you know? So I typically, in general, in life, I'm usually an extra small, I'm five foot three, so I usually always get extra smalls. But even at that point, when I'm not like pregnant, I would still get, I would always size up to smalls in their swimsuits. Just because of the, the junior style, I feel like you just need to size up one. So I would always buy smalls, but being pregnant there, I got mediums. And that works for me. Last time I was pregnant, I got a medium swimsuit from Target and it was perfect. So that's what I did on these. I love this flowery print. I think it's so cute. And like, look, with some bright, cute bracelets by the beach. So fun. I mean, you don't need bracelets by the beach, but it just makes it a little more fun, right? So I love this print. I think it's like absolutely precious. And it's like a ribbed material. It's got some ruffles up here. So there's that. And then here are the bottoms. I got a medium in the bottoms as well. Really cute. And then I got this swimsuit cover up, which matches really well. It's actually super wrinkled because I wore it the other day and I washed it and hung it up to dry. So it needs, I need to like steam it. But I love the swimsuit cover up. I feel like it totally fix, fits the Mexico vibe as well. It's got the little pom poms down the side. And I just got my normal size small in this. And I think it's so fun. Then I do have a plain white cover up from a couple years ago that I'll just take that one as well. The things that are older like that that I'm taking, I'm not even showing in here because I can't really link it if it's two years old, you know. I ordered a cute white cover up from Amazon, but it's like fully see-through and you can see my belly button and it's like just not a cute look. So that one is going back. All right, the other swimsuit I got from Target that I love, I actually really like the fit of this one, is this one. Love the colors of this as well. This is so fun. And then the top is like a triangle top like that. So cute. I haven't worn this one yet, but I got this one in a medium and both as well. Then from Aerie, I ordered a couple of swimsuits. I really like Aerie swimsuits. I got some last summer and they're really great quality. And if you get them on sale, they're great prices. So I bought all these on sale. And the first thing I got was just a black bandeau. I have black bottoms already that still fit me. So I'm just gonna take those, but I got this to go with it just for if I wanna lay out one day and not have any straps. So this actually looks really nice just cause it's black and sleek, you know, so that's a good one. And then I ended up getting a one piece and one pieces are super tough for me because I have a very long torso, but I'm like smaller this way. So I have to keep sizing up to get the length, but then it ends up being a little bit too big all the way around. And then obviously being pregnant right now, my belly's bigger. What's cool about Aerie is they actually offer small longs, they offer medium longs. So if you have a longer torso, that really helps with that. But unfortunately, when I ordered this, the long versions were sold out. So I just went ahead and got a medium in this one. I thought the print was so cute. I love this leopard print. And it actually fits fine. It's super cute. It's like a low back. But I thought I might want to have a one piece one of the days if I feel like it. My belly button is pretty messed up from all of my kids. And so in general, I won't wear a swimsuit unless it's high waisted and covers it because my belly button, the skin is so stretched out. But then now that my belly button is filling, my belly is filling back out since there's a baby in there now, it looks tighter. So I'm not weird about bikinis anymore. It's just, I thought maybe there'd be a day where I would want a one piece. So I got this, it's a little bit big under here because I did get it in a medium, but overall it works pretty well with my bump and stuff and it's super cute. I really, really love the print a lot. So the other one, I was actually gonna return this one, but it's kind of a long story. 
one day we were swimming at my husband's parents house he brought me the wrong swimsuit he brought me this one so the one i asked him to bring this one still had the tags and i ended up having to wear it because it was the only swimsuit there so now i can't return it which is fine i actually really like it the only issue is that i got mediums because i thought it would kind of run the same way but unfortunately like these medium bottoms are really big so i really should have gotten a small in the bottom so the bottoms are too big the medium top is perfect and it's so cute i mean it's totally fine i wore it i wore it yesterday so it's fine but the bottoms are just a little bit bigger than what i would like that's fine this one's really really cute and girly all right moving along i picked up this sweatshirt from target i'm leaving the tag on because i honestly don't even know if i will need it but i was just thinking if somewhat of a cold front comes in and we want to sit by the beach or walk along the beach one night and it's cool i needed some kind of like lightweight sweatshirt to wear and right now none of my sweatshirts fit me all of my sweatshirts are cropped and i've got a belly right now so i just grabbed this at target and I got it in a medium just so it would be like a little bit baggier and um, longer. Thought that was really cute. Just in case like I could wear it with like biker shorts or something by the beach if we want to just like, like I said, just walk along the beach one night or something. We might not. Who knows? Then as far as biker shorts go, I'm going to take these. I love these so much. These are truly like a pregnancy must have if you're pregnant in the summer. They are the Lululemon Align biker shorts. I get them in the six inch because of my height, I don't want them to be too long or too short. And I got a size six. So typically at Lululemon, I'm a size four and I just size up one when I'm pregnant. So I love this tie-dye print. I've worn these so much already. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the black ones, which I'm wearing right now. They're the exact same, they're just in black. So I figured like, you know, with a, like a t-shirt or something going to breakfast, or if we go to the spa or something like that, I might want just some like biker shorts and a t-shirt or, um, you know tank top or whatever who knows as far as t-shirts go i'll show you what i picked up i have this like i really i really like oversized tees so i love this one this is from urban outfitters i might take this one i'm gonna have to weed stuff out probably because i'm trying not to overpack which is really hard for me i got this one at target this is in a small medium it's super cute with like the black biker shorts i got this one at urban outfitters which i love love this like orangey color i'm super into it like peachy orange right now and then i have this like van halen one from urban outfitters as well so that would be kind of be like or like if we're hanging out one night in like our friend's room or whatever we want to play games i'll probably just wear like biker shorts and a big t-shirt you know I also picked up these skirts from Amazon. Like I, I really am gonna have to weed out because I feel like I have way too many things for the amount of days. We're going for four days, no, four nights, five days, I think. No, five nights, four days, four days, five nights. I have no idea, <laughs> something like that. One of those variations. But I got these ribbed skirts from Amazon. I got it in black. And they're like a tight high-waisted skirt so they come up real high over the bump and then i'll wear like a cropped shirt with it so i actually got this at target I'm not sure how i feel about it but it looks cute so I got, here's the black skirt and then this like cropped shirt and i could just like wear it with some sandals i got this in a small it's wild fable and it's got like a little tie in the front so you can buy cropped shirts when you're pregnant if you have like a you know a top like a high-waisted skirt to go up so even like something like this to go to the spa or something would be cute too. I don't know. I'm not sure. This almost looks, I thought I really liked it. I thought it looked like tie dye. And then now the more I look at it, I'm like, does it look like dog fur, like spots? I don't know. Isn't that weird? So I have that. And then I also have this color skirt, which I really love as well from Amazon. And then I got this like tie dye cropped shirt from Target, which looks really cute with this um, tan skirt so there's that I've got so many options I'm kind of like I'm a mood dresser you guys I can't just pack the correct number of outfits for the correct number of days because I'm like I never know what we're gonna be doing or how I'm gonna be feeling so I have to have options and then that lends me to overpacking <laughs> so I don't know we'll see We'll see. I'm really trying, really, really trying not to. And actually, I have a smaller suitcase this time. I'll show you my suitcase. So I feel like I can't overpack. So I've got to get very strategic about what I'm taking. <laughs> 
All right, for dresses, for like nighttime stuff, here is the first one. It's gonna be kind of hard to tell. I can pop up a picture of the model. I don't have time to try everything on and show you guys, so I can pop up a picture so you can see. But this is the really simple like ivory maxi dress I was telling you about. It's really pretty. It's got a slit right here, which makes it super cute. This was from Forever 21. It was $29.99. I love finding good deals on dresses and stuff, especially when you're pregnant because you know you may not wear them after. But I did get a size small. This is just kind of flowy, so I could actually wear this after. So this was the one I was thinking to maybe do these earrings with. You know? Are you, are you catching the vibe? <laughs> so that's one outfit option. And then I'll probably with this wear these wedges I got. I love these. These are from Target. They are the Universal Thread brand. Very beachy and cute. I always have to size down a half size in this brand. So normally I always wear a seven. These are a six and a half. But I thought these were so cute. So I'll probably wear that dress with those shoes. Then this dress I also got from Forever 21. I thought this was really cute. It's kind of like this banana leaf dress. I thought this was really pretty and it's very different for me because purple is like my least favorite color on planet Earth. But it's a pretty like lilac lavender color and I just like the beachy vibe of it. So I actually do like it even though it's purple and I'll probably wear it again with these same wedges. Okay, these were just one's dresses I, I've had. I have this black dress, it's from Wild Fable, and it's kind of just like a swing dress. This might be more of like a better option of what I would wear like, you know, with my hat, <laughs> like a hot mess. With my hat, wear this with like some slides or something to the spa, if we go to the spa, you know. Where you just want to be a little bit more dressed up than like biker shorts, but you don't wanna be in like a full blown maxi dress, you know what I mean? So I got that, okay, just fully messed up my hair. And then that same style dress, I love this one. It's these like daisies and it's yellow. Really, really cute. This is also Wild Fable. And I just get a size small in these, just so I have a little extra room. I might wear this one night to dinner, which is cute with um, sandals or wedges <laughs> i'm trying not to take 50 pairs of shoes so i might so i'm trying to like you know reuse shoes then i have this dress and i don't know if this one will still fit me with my belly or not i wore this in our gender reveal but i love this peachy dress it's from wild fable so cute and it's like shorter so if this one still fits me and it's not too short now that my belly's grown i'll probably take this and wear this one night to dinner this is the one i was saying to like this little scarf would match really cute if I wanted to do something fun with my hair. And then, okay, I feel like there's so many things. I got this yesterday at H&M and I got an extra small because this has tons of fabric. It's a very like stretchy and flowy. I tried on the small and it was just way too much fabric. So I, I bumped down to an extra small and I loved this print leopard print so I might wear this one night to dinner or I don't know for something I did think this would also be really cute with my like uh, sun hat and then I got these wedges or these slides at H&M how freaking cute are those so I might wear these with that dress or with biker shorts or any you know the black dress the other black dress or I could wear like these again these like wedges with that like leopard maxi dress we'll see then I also got these sandals, which I love, because I'm not gonna take like tennis shoes. So with biker shorts and stuff, normally I'd wear like slides or tennis shoes or something, but I got these from Forever 21. They're kind of like a platform style, like white sandal. I really like these a lot. So I might even travel in these to the airport and from or whatever. I don't know, we'll see. But I really like these a lot. They kind of like wrap around your ankle. And they were like super inexpensive. So I got those. And then as far as slides for the pool go, uh, let me get them, hold on. Okay, these are like my favorite slides ever. I've been wearing these like crazy, they're from Amazon. They're like super squishy and comfy. So I thought I would take these to wear the pool, but then I got these, which I also love. So I'm not really sure. I'm probably not gonna take both of these because I don't need like two pairs of rubber slides, you know? 
And like I said, I have a small suitcase, so I've got to weed out, but I love both of these. So I'll probably have to choose between those because otherwise I have like one, two, three, four, five, six, like six pairs of shoes and that's too many, <laughs> too many. I did get this belt from Target. Just cute. I'm super into all this like straw material and stuff. And I thought like with that white maxi dress or even the black one or something, it's cute since they're flowy and I'm pregnant. It's fun to have a belt so that you can like actually see your bump, you know, and it makes you like actually look pregnant. So I don't know if I'll use this or not. So I left the tag on, but I thought it would be a cute option if I wanted to like give a dress a little bit more structure. I don't know. We'll see. I got these pajamas from Target. Look how cute these colors are. Aren't they adorable? So cute. That's by the Stars Above brand. I got them in a small. And so they'll fit me for a little while pregnant. And then I thought these would be great for like postpartum for nursing and stuff after the fact. But I just love these colors. They're very like beachy and it like fits. Everything I have is like peach and pink and orangey but I'm like really, really into it. And then I have these packing cubes, which I didn't buy them for this trip. I bought them like last year, but I love these things. They're from Amazon, they're super cute. It comes with a bunch of different cubes and I've really enjoyed the packing cube thing because it helps me be like, this like a, almost like a shoe bag. Helps everything be super organized. And then you've got like these cute little laundry bags. So this whole set is like, I wanna say it's like $13 on Amazon, but I love it. So I will be using these. And then on our last trip, we haven't, we have not traveled, obviously most of the world hasn't, but we haven't traveled since 2019. We had a couple trips last year that obviously got canceled. And so on our last trip to Mexico, my suitcase broke, the wheels broke off and it was this whole thing. So. I had to get a new suitcase for this trip, so I found this one on Amazon. I'll show it to you really quick. Okay, it's right here. It's a 24 inch suitcase. The brand I think is like Cool Life or something like that. It was a really, yeah, Cool Life, two year warranty. It was a really good price. I think it was like $75, but it's not huge as I said. So I gotta like get super creative to get everything in here. I don't want it to be huge because I don't want it to be overweight. I always have that problem. So I think this is good because it'll force me to like get it together. But I like the hard shell. I like that it's white and it kind of like, it does the whole spinny thing. So you don't have to like care. You don't have to push it like that. You can just like wheel it like, like this, you know? So I think this is really cool. And, whew, is that it? I feel like that's it. That's like the majority of stuff. Oh, there's one other thing I'm so sad that just was delivered this morning. It was supposed to be delivered tomorrow, but it came early and I don't have a mailbox key. My husband has it. So I think I had one at one time, but it's gone. I don't know where it is. So I can't go get it, but I ordered these free people sunglasses. So tonight, once my husband gets home and can unlock the mailbox for me, I will show you the sunglasses. I'm hoping they're really cute. I ordered a couple pair of glasses on Amazon and had to send them back because I hated them. And I'm like the type, I have a couple like really nice pairs of sunglasses, but for some reason when I'm by the pool and by the beach, I also like to have like, just fun ones and cute ones and I'm obsessed with sunglasses. I have like a million pair and I just keep buying them because I feel like sunglasses like make a statement. When, yeah, I don't know, I love accessories for some reason. So I, yeah, anyway, so I ordered these free people sunglasses. They were like 20 bucks, but they're super cute. So I'm hoping that they look good on. So I'll let you guys know here in a bit, but this was so much fun to share with you everything for a baby moon. I've never been on a baby moon before with either of my other pregnancies. So I'm so excited. I'm super pumped to be going with our best friends. We're gonna have so much fun and just glad that we can travel. <laughs> so, okay, I'm not gonna end this because I'm gonna show you the glasses later tonight. It is the next day now and my free people sunglasses are here. So I'm gonna show them to you. But honestly, I'm kind of sad because I don't really know how I feel about them. I'm probably gonna return them. I just feel like, not quite my vibe, but here they are. Like I said, they were $20, they're super cute, but I think they're just like a little too square. <laughs> just not super into it. I think they're super cute, but I, just not really my vibe. So there's the free people glasses. So I waited till the next day to show you glasses I don't like, so 
bummer. <laughs> But that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new to my channel. And don't forget that I will have as many of these items linked in the description box below as I possibly can to make it easy for you to shop. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. You